What up, Rough Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. Still out here on the seawall. Right, this is the Georgetown seawall. We're between Kingston, right? That's Kingston in the distance. We're looking at the Pegasus Hotel. Pegasus Suites and Corporate Center and beyond that the Marriott and this is the seawall and the seawall road that's the Atlantic Ocean right that's the Atlantic Ocean looking east and here this is a playground what you can see the stands pavilion so as I was saying this area was given to the various uh, clubs and schools for recreational facilities so places like um, St. Stanislaus College which it's a school in the heart of the city and that didn't have their own, did not have enough space, any land for a playground. They have their ground, their St. Stanislaus, St. Stanislaus uh, playground is out here. There is the um, Ghana Legionnaires, right, the veterans of the wars. They have the Legion House in the ground out here. There is the Ghana National Service. They have a ground out here and so on. So a lot of this land belongs to these clubs and schools. And what the government of Guyana has decided to do is to take this land over for building high-rise uh, condominiums and hotels and so they're actually going to re replicate what's happening all along what's happening at the south the western end that is in Kingston all along the coast at least here in Georgetown and so recently they have offered or signed an agreement with a Middle Eastern company to build to build a high-rise um, high-rise hotel and so what I'm looking out for today is evidence that that has started I don't know the names of all these grounds, but I know that this one coming up here is the National Service Ground because I remember playing football on that field. But it doesn't seem to be maintained. So my guess is that this is the first one to go because the government of Ghana abolished the Ghana National Service and they're in a position to take over this land and repurpose it for their new development drive. So this is the Ghana National Service Ground. I remember playing. I think they have a clubhouse underneath the stands. I remember playing, I think, table tennis in that building when I was a kid and playing soccer on this field when I was a teenager. And my guess is that this is probably one of the grounds that they're going to use to build new high-rise apartments, uh, high-rise um, hotels, high-rise hotels. So there is a race to redevelop this area and to place high-rise buildings all along this seawall area and what of course is attracting them is the view 
Now I don't know whether they're going to make it into a kind of Atlantic City. Um, casino strip or whether they're going to make it into a hotel strip so this is a, a kind of um, long line of hotels like Miami you know Oceanside Drive or whether they're going to make it into a series of high-rise residential apartments luxury apartments which is also a possibility but this is the beginning of transformation I remember talking about this in a video about four or five years ago where I mentioned that this is likely to be the scene for a strip of high-rise um, hotels multi-story high-rise hotels and I think the government has caught on to that and is beginning to do um, initial work so to make that happen so this is the Guyana National Service ground as you can see they're currently tearing up the field the heaps of soil somebody's been grading over there my guess is that this is the first one to go Right in the gentrification of the seawall strip, that is the first one to go. I think they're going to tear because it belongs to the government of Guyana now. Ministry of Culture, Youth, and Sport. I think that's what the sign says on this. On on this uh, opang on the building. Now next door is another field, see they piled um, all of this earth, I suppose they've started tearing up, in other words they're going to widen this road so you can see they've already uh, excavated and laid stone on the ground. I don't know if it's wide enough but they're going to make this road wider and all that soil, that pile of soil I suppose was removed from digging up the ground. Yeah but beyond there is another ground. I think this one might be St. Stanislaus ground. Alright this one might be the one that belongs to St. Stanislaus High School. But this one seems to be well kept beyond these trees. The field is manicured and the fence, somebody's put up a new fence.